you're first taking a look at your envelope, it's important to take note of a few things. I've got my bust, waist, and hip measurements here, and that will help me figure out exactly what size I need to cut out. Now, as you can see here, there's child's and teen sizes, as well as a teen's and adult size. Where I'm mostly gonna be looking is making sure my hips and chest measurements are matching up with the range of measurements that I'm seeing on the actual pattern. So I've circled the ones that are closest to my size. Looks like my chest is closer to an extra small, whereas my hips are closer to the small size. Since I'll just be making the pants in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna go with the size small. That will help me figure out exactly what size to cut out when I look at the paper pattern later on. This also tells me exactly how much yardage I need to pick up if I'm going with the small size. I look straight down and it looks like, according to this pattern envelope, the C pants are the ones I'm gonna be making. For the pants, it looks like I'm going to need about two and a quarter yards, or two yards if I've got a wider 60 inch bolt. You can see that I've also labeled the yardage that I will be needing for the top. This is just in case you get far enough ahead that you decide you wanna make a matching top to go with your pants. taken your own measurements you're going to match it up to the sizes that are on the actual pattern piece and that will help you coordinate with the extra small small medium large and extra large um, that will help you figure out exactly what size you need to cut out in my case I'll be cutting out the small you should all recognize the grain line which we've talked about in class before that's going to be on this pattern piece just as it is on all of the pattern pieces and that will help you lay it out on the fabric later on. Notice there's also two notches right along the crotch seam. This goes along with the waistline marker, which you will see here. That is gonna be useful once we need to insert the waistband elastic later on towards the end. one and a quarter inches folding up for your hem. Again, that's not gonna happen until towards the end. So don't worry about that for now.
start by ironing the pattern piece as well as the fabric to make sure that there's no wrinkles or folds that are getting caught underneath. Make sure when you actually start pressing the paper that you don't use the steam function on your iron, otherwise the steam will actually cause warping in the paper. Pressing step will also help to make sure everything is nice and flat when you start pinning. And then pinning is just like you did with your apron, all around the piece. You don't want to have too many pins in. I happen to be working on fairly slippery fabric, so I'm going to put my pins a little bit closer than you might if you had something a little bit more sturdy, like a cotton um, or a fleece. Don't forget to snip the little notches that are on your pattern. You'll see that I'm slicing them now before I even take the pattern piece off of the fabric. <laughs> 